Hey everybody, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we're going to have a look at a new device on the market called Solar Immersion. And this device is designed to maximise the self-consumption of solar power on a property. So let's have a look at how this works. If we have a look at this graph here, we have a, a chart of how solar power has been produced during the day and how consumption is a uh, consumption pattern of a day. So the red line is the uh, the consumption on the property, the green uh, bell curve with the divot in the middle is the solar power production of this day. And so the, the couple of divots in the green uh, bell curve would be because a bit of cloud cover has come over on this day. And uh, we've, we've got the uh, the green shaded section which is surplus solar power. Now in Queensland where we are we only get paid like six cents a kilowatt hour for any surplus solar power. So this whole green shaded section has all been power which has been surplus to requirements and it's been sent back to the grid at like six cents a kilowatt hour. Now the blue shaded section is power which has been consumed on the property which has been taken from the solar power system. So that's great because that's uh, we buy power at about 27 cents a kilowatt hour currently and so that whole blue shaded section has been power which has been taken from the solar and so it hasn't been needed to be taken from the grid because of that. Now in this case you see the big uh, red spike about 10 o'clock in the morning. Now this was actually because we had installed a timer on this uh, on the hot water on this property and the, with, the, with the whole idea of maximising self-consumption. So the, the hot water would come on at say 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, right when the solar is supposed to be doing its, doing its uh, best, producing at its best and uh, the whole idea being to try and maximise self-consumption. But you see in this case here it hasn't worked very well because of clouds come over right at that time and uh, most of the hot water in that section has been uh, heated from the electricity grid because a cloud had come over. So we tried as hard as we could to maximise self-consumption here but it just didn't work and and obviously on overcast days and things like that you uh, <laughs> there was not going to be a lot of surplus this time of day to go back to the grid so well to put into the hot water system sorry so it's a, it's a bit of a catch-22 on which, what way is best to make this work now if we have a look on this next screen, this is actually after we installed solar immersion on this system. If you have a look here, the, the big difference you'll notice is that till about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the whole solar uh, production is shaded blue. All the power has been self-consumed, and that's because this solar immersion device has detected exactly how much surplus solar power there was, and it's uh, directed that surplus solar power straight to the hot water system and it's kept on doing that until the thermostat on the hot water systems told it I've got where we're hot enough now the water's hot enough you can turn off and so it's turned off and it sent the remaining surplus solar power back to the grid and you can just see straight away there how how much more uh, self-consumption how much higher the self-consumption is with this solar immersion system than it was previously with, uh, with our timer in place. And so th this really helps to maximise the self-consumption of the property. You can see up the top there, it tells us that 79% of the solar power was self-consumed, only 21% was exported to the grid. And you would just imagine if, if like that previous screen, there'd been a couple of big divots in that uh, solar power bell curve, and uh, it would just mean that the uh, solar power would have been pretty much self-consumed pretty much all day long, which is, uh, which is perfect for this system. It's exactly what it's designed to do. Now we're going to go to the next screen here and just actually see one of these devices in action. So here we have the solar immersion device. And we're, we've got it running here. And you can see in this picture here, we've got a star, a little asterisk on the screen, which is which is flashing, 
and that's telling us that the solar immersion device is operational and it's looking for surplus solar power, it's, it's waiting for surplus. And so it's flashing, 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 looking for surplus, looking for surplus that it can send to load one. In this case, load one is a hot water system, uh, which is what with a, a solar immersion would normally be working with a hot water system. And you can see just in a second, that, that asterisk, that solar, um, the picture of the sun, is going to go uh, constant, just like that. This means it's detected surplus. And you can see there's the arrow going from the, the uh, picture of the sun to the load one, to the hot water system. And so that means it's detected surplus power and it's shooting that surplus power over to the hot water system, which is exactly what we want it to do. Now, um, with this system, if there was a very small amount of surplus solar power, it would be doing exactly what it's doing now, which is that arrow is moving slowly along from the sun to the load one, from to the hot water. If it was a, uh, a really bright sunny day and there was a lot of surplus solar power, that, low, that arrow would be moving along quite quickly. So that's basically how it works there, and it looks after itself and it, uh, and it does a great, great job. So that's basically how the solar immersion system works and uh, if you're on the Gold Coast or in Brisbane area and you're wanting to really try and maximise your self-consumption of solar power and you realise you've got a bit of surplus solar power at the moment that you'd really like to try and uh, use on the property, well we have one op option is obviously to put batteries in, battery banks in. Unfortunately at this stage batteries are still very expensive. They are certainly going to be the future but at this stage they're still very expensive. But this device is way way cheaper and it pretty much uses your existing electric hot water system as a storage device. So it stores a surplus solar power into that device and really helps you maximise self consumption. So if you are interested in this product and, uh, and would like to get one fitted to your property, look, give us a call at Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions or visit us on the web and check us out and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks very much. I hope this has been helpful for you.